Malaysia has uh, never uh, wavered from our commitment, which is to seek justice uh, for the victim of uh, MH17. Yes, you mentioned that uh, in uh, 2020, uh, there was a change in the Malaysian government and the leadership from uh, Tone Dr. Mahadir to uh, Tan Sri Mohidin Yassin. Uh, despite the change of uh, government and leadership, Malaysia's uh, position on MH17 remain unchanged, meaning uh, we are still committed uh, to uh, the joint investigation team process, the, the, the JIT, and uh, we uh, still maintain that, uh, uh, that uh, we want uh, to have a transparent, uh, credible and also effective uh, process of the uh, trial uh, based on the rule of law uh, in order for justice to prevail. So our approach has always been uh, based on evidence. Yeah? Uh, not to be uh, uh, influenced by any uh, political motive. So in, in that sense, uh, uh, we always reiterated that uh, not to attribute to any country uh, with the downing of MH17 until the district court uh, in The Hague uh, Netherlands has uh, examined all the evidence and also uh, delivered its uh, judgment later, which I think is going to be a long process. Malaysia is one of the five countries in the uh, joint investigation team, uh, together with uh, Belgium, the Netherlands, Australia, uh, Ukraine and Malaysia. So uh, we are committed to the process from the very beginning. So we hope uh, all the parties will give their full uh, focus, support and cooperation uh, towards uh, this uh, uh, collective effort to secure justice uh, so that there will be a final closure for the victims and family members. The five uh, joint investigation uh, team countries they have uh, jointly agreed to finance the trial yeah, in The Hague. So, uh, so we are committed uh, to uh, contribute 5.7 uh, million uh, US dollar for the trial. And uh, this money uh, will be uh, allocated in the first quarter of 2021. Uh, so this contribution will cover all aspects, including uh, security, transportation, uh, communication, facilities, um, including for Ukraine liaison officer and other contingency expenses. So uh, this money is uh, to cover during the trial in The Hague. Uh, we, we take note that the parallel actions are being uh, taken elsewhere. Uh, including in the European Court of Human Rights, although the, uh, the trial is ongoing in the District Court in The Hague. Uh, uh, we, Malaysia will, will, will not take uh, sides you know, until the completion of the criminal investigation. We will allow uh, whatever action is being taken elsewhere uh, besides uh, the one in The Hague. Uh, other parties are, are free you know, to, to, to file any actions, you know, even in ICJ, uh, like what uh, Ukraine is doing. So these are all parallel action uh, or rather alternative actions yeah, uh, to find justice. This uh, uh, tragedy actually uh, uh, has brought Malaysia closer uh, with Ukraine actually. Yeah? So, uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, we became closer because of a sad tragedy, but this is the truth. And uh, uh, I know this is a painful process for the family members, but uh, we are very pleased that finally the trial has started in The Hague. Uh, uh, there are four people have been accused in the court. 
although the trial is uh, being conducted in absentia, meaning without the presence of the uh, accused, uh, we hope that uh, at the end of the trial, the family members uh, of the 298 uh, passenger and crew members uh, will will be you know uh, have something uh, you know to say that okay uh, now we know who is respons responsible you know for for shooting the for downing the MH17. So uh, that is uh, very important to me, yeah, to find uh, the truth. Uh, but uh, we must follow uh, through a credible, transparent uh, trial. Yes.